Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Movie Social. I'm your host, Ricky, and it's your co-host, Stefan. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing the FX series, Dave, starring Little Dicky, a.k.a. Dave. Dave Bird? All right. So, first off, did not really know what it was from Shetland Didn't pay attention to that at first. To watch my series. And I mean, I've seen some trailers and all that for the show. Kept forgetting to check it out. But I'm glad I did watch it this week. So, you got Dave, you got Teller playing Ollie. And then, did not really know they got this man li- really listed as Gator. On IMDb. Did not know that. That is awesome. He's really listed as Gator. I need to know if this is his real name or not. That's like, awesome. And then Andrew is playing Mike. And of course, we can't forget about Travis playing uh, Els and Christine playing Emma. That rounds up the basic cast for the show. Yeah, the main cast. I agree. Now, Dave really hasn't acted in anything. He's mainly done movie. I mean, music videos, rap, and all that good stuff. Hasn't acted in anything. Interesting. That was a good, good kind of a comical show. To me, I'm still trying to figure out, is this trying to be a loose base of the music industry life a little bit because it seems ironic but at the same time it was funny as hell the poster alone is wild like really but all right, everybody. So we're just going to go into some context for the show first. All right, okay. Can, I'm going to give you my, my little, since, I, since, I, since I'm the one who suggests the show. No, I was going to let you get, give the context for the show. Go ahead. So, all right. So people can know so if they it have. Is, it is literally based loosely on his start in his rap career. Um, he doesn't want to be a like legit rapper as far as that he wants to be a comic like a satire rapper like a comedy i listen to a lot of his music a lot of his music is storytelling like legit story like beginning middle and end um and i enjoyed it because i enjoy him at first i didn't know who little dicky was other than that freaky friday whatever but then i stumbled his first song that i stumbled across was professional rapper that had him and Snoop Dogg in. I was like, yo, this is like telling a, a legit story. This is dope. And then I started listening to his music. And then when I found out that he had a show coming, I was like, yo, this, I definitely have to watch this. It definitely is based loosely on his start of his rap career and everything like that. Um, and just like his, some of his situations are based loosely on um, like his liberal life and like stuff like that. Uh, we'll get to it further on the line, but one of the things that you probably didn't know, or people who don't know Lil Dicky, is the breakup that he had with his girlfriend is similar to a song that he had uh, a couple years ago. So that's why, like when it was happening, I'm like, oh crap, they 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 they're about to play the song possibly, but they didn't obviously for you know for whatever reason. But it, it is based loosely on his life and situations that happened in his life. It's pretty dope. Okay, cool. And uh, for those who also didn't know, Kevin Hart is also an executive producer on the show. Yes. So, a couple of fully tie-ins with that then. I mean, that's not bad at all. But the show itself is wild. Do not watch this around kids at all. Not at all. <laughs> the show is crazy. Yeah, yeah whole part of the league with that. But I'm not going to lie. When I first started watching it, I started thinking... Mm, this seems like it's trying to rip off Atlanta a little bit, but I'm like, 
it's from this it's being aired on the same station as Atlanta, so hopefully it wasn't trying to rip off Atlanta in any way. But then as it went on, it started to develop as its own show, in my opinion, and started pulling separately from Atlanta, even though it's just as wild as Atlanta. But it did start to pull away. But this man, Gator, they really went out with this one. Touching on his uh, mental health issues, which I actually respect that they put that in the show to show that you can still live a life and having those issues. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad he got the help he needed. Cause, whew, and that sneaker yeah, story. That was a heartstring episode for me. Yo. That that was later on in the season. Yeah. Uh, that, wow. Definitely a good episode there. But as a whole, I definitely would recommend this for anybody to watch. It's definitely a great laugh and a great storyline. Now, the songs itself, these would never see the light of day on the radio. <laughs> Even though they're better than some things that actually are on the radio, just, yeah, they would never see the light of day. So, my opinion with the songs. They're not his, like his freestyles. His freestyles are like, yo, awesome. I'm this fire. Yo, his freestyles are awesome. But if I had to suggest listening to some little dicky music, I'm just give you my top five, and it's gonna be Russell Westbrook on the farm. Yes, it sounds like what? No, it's called Russell Russell Westbrook on the farm. Dope song, professional rapper. Dope song. Um. What's another one? Uh, Pillow Talk. Dope song. Um, then he has... Uh, he did a freestyle with um, Sway. Sway in the morning. He did that joint. Dope freestyle. I mean, that freestyle was crazy good. And then there's one more song um, that is literally... It's weird because... It's a banger. Like it's weird. Like if you was to hear at a song, at like a, at a club, you will be vibing to it. It's called "Save That Money." Okay. Listen to those songs when you get a chance, and it's gonna blow your mind about his 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 lyrics and stuff like that. Definitely watch it or listen to those. Uh, oh yeah, watch a couple of videos. I know Pillow Talk has a video, and Professional Rapper has a video, and Save That Money has a video. Okay. And of course, everybody knows Freaky Friday. Yeah. As his video, you no, know. but back to his character. That's not I, a character, though. I it's not, and it is because it also reminded me of uh, Napoleon Dynamite a bit. He but really was reminding me of Napoleon. It's really not a character. Like if you watch him in interviews, I mean, I've seen how he talks and acts. Well, yeah, that's him. <laughs> but I, at the same time, I don't know if some of that is him acting that way too. In reality, or if it's really him, him. I like, really hope who he is. is. Like I think that's him, him. Like the only time I think it was acting is like when he was being mean towards uh, his roommate slash manager. I think that was acting, but like how he talks and his demeanor and all of that—that that is him. That is Dave Bird. Yeah, Mike though was getting my last nerves sometimes. I'm not going to lie, he was getting on my nerves. But I do like how the show didn't just focus all on Dave. It focused on the supporting cast as well. Like his friend, his childhood friend slash uh, producer in a way, uh, Els, and his relationship. I'm not going to lie. I didn't know what to think about Els on the show at the beginning. But I'm like, he, they started forming his character a bit more, groomed it a bit, got him into a spot where, okay, now he's on his own, produced for other people as well. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't get the whole point of bringing Trippy Red into it too much. Like, could we not get anybody else? 
But I'm like, who knows? I, I don't know. That was made to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so. And they had some good uh, celebrities come, popping up left and right. Mm -hmm. Now, when y'all get to the season final, if y'all have not seen it yet, do not watch it around. Put an open mind about the whole episode. That's all I can say. I'm not going to give it away, but just keep an open mind. Yeah, don't don't watch it around children at all. Look, you shouldn't watch the show at all around children. Top two funniest moment. Milky the the, the table. Yo, that was wild. <laughs> Yo, that whole I, episode is crazy. When the garage door came open. I was literally in tears because I've never been caught in any activity, whatever case may be. I, but I can only imagine, right, being with a significant other, trying something that significant other likes, and then getting caught in the middle of it or in, like, in the process. That was top five of like one of the funniest things I've ever seen. But and the other thing that was funny to me was the wood shirts. Bruh. Young people like, oh, this is fire. I'm like, a oh, wood shirt? <laughs> uh, to the silent party. Oh, yeah. The silent party was pretty funny. But it was funny and crazy, especially when he fell. But the scene before the milking set that up perfectly because I was like, really? Really, man. <laughs> See, I wasn't even gonna say what it was. You, you, you actually spilled the beans. I wasn't gonna. I didn't even say what it was. No, we said milking. No, I didn't. I said the table. Listen, it's a milking scene. It's not a scene because you don't see it. It was going to happen, and that table came back too. <laughs> Later episodes made it even funnier. Which is, which is hilarious because they they did mention it. They did mention it. Yeah. But this whole show definitely sets up a lot of different dynamics. It's opened up a lot of possibilities for season two. Yep, and it did get renewed for another season. Yes, it did. I'm waiting to see how this plays out, especially the way it ended. Need to know what's going on with Dave and Ollie for season two. I need to see what's going on with Els and Emma. And what's going to happen with Gator after the season final. Yeah, I need to see if this is going to open the doors up for him. Hopefully, season two opens the door for his actual um, album, like in real life. Um, I think it, I, literally, I literally think the album is called Professional Rapper. So, like, hopefully that leads up to his actual first album in season two. I mean, we're going to have to wait and see. Yeah, but I, like I said, it's, something, it's definitely something I recommend it because obviously I recommend it to you. Uh, and I can't wait for season two. I really can't wait for season two to drop. Yeah, I definitely can't. So, with that being said, let us know what you liked about the show. If you didn't like it, put it all in the comments. We want to hear what you got to say about it. Don't forget to like us and subscribe, and then turn on the notifications too.